Hey gang, welcome back to another stream. An early stream. Very, very early. Had a bit of time, so I figured why not? We'll see, we're picking up where we left off last night. We had to go back to the quarry to find the lore. You know, she was the uh, sorceress that attacked us and blew a hole in the wall. Still need to get the iron ore from the quarry as well. Maybe one day they'll actually rebuild that clock tower. I mean, you know, we, we got to start it. Oh. Who are this CJ I've been hearing about, huh? I'm Renber. I'm in charge of defense around here. In charge? Like a commander or something? I didn't know they had titles like that here. Titles, ha! <laughs> Who cares about nonsense like that? Oh? It's a matter of the heart, child. I've taken it upon myself to defend this town because my heart tells me I must. So you just put yourself in charge then? You'll find no one better for the job, I promise you that. Green garlands, I have orders for you. Orders? For me? We are rapidly running out of weapons. No one must remedy that immediately. Oh, if you're offering a stamp, there's no need for the Admiral Act. Stamps? Again? These stamps have gone to your brains. I'll love you. Fine. If that's what it takes, I get to work. Yes, sir. What? Well, I mean... That's pretty much the order that was on the, uh... The board in the plaza, so... <laughs> I mean, we were going to do it anyway. So. CJ, I heard from Gaku that you're looking for that Melor or Melor girl, that right? Well, I agreed to keep an eye out while I'm treasure hunting, sure. We'll be treasure hunting somewhere pretty dangerous then. He's on the other side of that blockade to fire bit down. There's a bit of a trick to open it up, though. Should be a lever around the blockade somewhere. Make sure to give it a good push. A good push, huh? Okay, got it. See you when I get back, then. And of course, they're thinking, if you get back. So our stone pack is full. We have three healing potions and the power bomb and the critical bomb. Truthfully though, I should just use up these two and replace them with two more of the uh, healing potions. Okay, rock return. Rue's great sword is great uh, enough to send projectiles back where they came from. Rocks and other projectiles, which are marked, can be sent back with a well-timed strike. Okay, that's what that is. Because I tried doing that with CJ, because I noticed the uh, the blue marks on the rock at this level five enemy spits at us. I was like, hey, that must mean something. Well, maybe I can hit it and send it back. Yeah, you can't do that with CJ. Otherwise, you get smacked in the face with a rock. Or that the hard way. We'll try him. Ah, excellent.
Yeah, I swear, I'm, I am so used to pressing X to attack. It, it's it's like muscle memory, I guess. So if I switch to him, which I'm using the next box controller, it's the Y button. Everything to do with him, attacking is Y. So we're, I'm used to pressing X to attack everything, every other game. It just automatically switches back to her. But he finally does have a special, uh, special maneuver with the R trigger. It's that block. Looks like you got a tower pretty. this stuff now we know is to upgrade your armor and your weapons. I don't know, I guess I thought with him, cause I mean, he's a kangaroo, right? I mean, that's what he looks like. <laughs> I honestly thought that like his special move would be to hold down our trigger and do like some kind of super leap. But he still does jump pretty high. Let's compare it. Um, look at that bottom wood in the background. So he does have just a little tiny bit higher jump than she does. Oh, and we did get... We bought like a trap. It's supposed to be hunting grounds as they call them. You set the trap out and you can catch creatures for, I think it said, uh, furs. And meat. Uh, we also bought a fishing pole. That's pretty much self-explanatory. It's to catch birds. Oh, all right, fish then. Fishing pole. Well, right. and yeah. Seeing if it actually shows it. I didn't hear anywhere though. It's just on Mac, I guess. Okay. Not sure. Okay, well, man, I don't know how the trap works then. <laughs> I just saw the icon for trap, and it said trap is set, but I, I didn't see any kind of notification about catching anything, and then there's nothing here. Shields. Bosses aren't the only enemies with shields. If you find yourself up against some shielded enemies, keep in mind that Gru's great sword acts a particularly powerful punch. See? I'm so used to that. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to break myself with that on my skate. It's like, use him, get ready to do a shield break. What do I do? Press the X button. Quick break. And he does have a, like I say, he's got the block, but you gotta time it. Um, that's his attack, but he's also got a charge attack. Hey, new mushrooms. Yeah, you, uh, the mushrooms, things like that, they're used to uh, craft food. The food refills your health, but at the same time, they also give you a temporary boost, which usually lasts about a day. Hey, the lever, we gave it a good push. Real good. Yeah, those little things are gargoyles. I would never have thought that. I didn't notice it until the uh, first time we beat one. Well, actually, I'll take it back. It's probably about the fourth or fifth time. Got a gargoyle wing. I just thought there was some kind of freaky little bat. Call the currency Bakwa. Ah. I do not know if that's the correct pronunciation or not. Whoa! Oh no! Do it again. Oh. Come on. Alright. Ah. Ow! Yeah, we took two of them out like that. We got that. And to be honest, I really wasn't paying attention to I mean we had. Little things are packed full of salt. Okay. Be an accessory, right? Yeah. Dodge rate up four percent. Dodge rate. Oh, reading that. Drop rate. This is just wishful thinking. I kind of I find it funny though that you know he's a kangaroo. Still think he is. Then he's got like that bottomless pouch. It's supposed to be like a magic pouch. That's where he keeps a sword. <laughs> okay, this is back to the beginning. Uh, go back the other way real quick. Was there still a path to the right? Yeah, over 
do. Oh, see if you can block that. God, oh, you can't get that. I don't know, I just didn't think you'd be able to block where the, the enemy sword is just so big. Okay, how do I get up there? Find another way to drop down. There she is, that's her. What? You'll terrorize this town no longer. My aim is straight and true. Magical lyrical missile. Again? What's this girl's problem? Stay back, scoundrels. You come face to face with New Nouveau's very own guardian peacekeeper. I call it New Nouveau again. We now pretty much know it's called New Neva. Got it by the runes, holy light, it is ah, once again, Malor, art and defender of love and justice. <laughs> I don't know who you think you're talking to, but we're just a couple of adventurers. You don't lie your way out of this. That vicious visage, the smell of bloodlust. Bandits, both of you. I know a bandit when I see one, or smell one. You don't let her talk to you like that. They're talking about you. Malor, please, hear us out. I'm a scavenger. Don't dream of thieving for anyone who's alive and kicking. But she should have said like, oh, so you admit it, you kill them first. Prove it. Excuse me? If you really are ordinary adventurers, then prove it. What? What kind of proof are you for exactly? Wait, I know this. Here, stamp card. A stamp card? Ugh, you want to get us killed. There, an explorer's license, signed and sealed by the acting mayor. Oh my, this stamp card is a genuine article. You are adventurous after all. I'm so, so very sorry. I think one of them should have done a head slap. Not odd, not usually wrong. I was sure those lens bandits would show up today. Lens bandits? Yes, you've seen them, right? On the escorts of town. Lots of lenses in the barrels. The bandits are obsessed with them. Yeah, I gotta catch myself. I keep wanting to call in the burrows. What's the barrows? Plenty of old artifacts down here, but they only have eyes for the lenses. What made you so sure they come here today? A few days back, a huge draw, a raw lens, was discovered alongside an equally huge load golem. Really? It better not be a joke, little girl. I don't want to joke about something like that. That's why I thought you'd be here. We have to go get it right now. What way? We were told to take this kid back to town. For all we know, she might have smashed that lens up when she attacked us yesterday. Ah, right. Or, we're not here for lenses, we're here to bring you back to town. Back to those orders. That's right, everyone's worried about you, so come along, okay? No. No? He's mad at me for breaking the bulwark, isn't he? Oh, now she cares about the bulwark. No one's mad, the hole's already fixed up, so everything's fine, come on. No! A real magical girl wouldn't run away from making a mess. A real magical girl would make it right. Don't mess with magical girls now. No, that's not right. You know, it's not no magical girl I know. Not at all. N not at all? Are you going mad? Sure. Look, even a magical girl's going to make mistakes. Some mistakes aren't all bad, so long as you learn from them. 
If you mess up, take a step back, cool off, think about what you've done, could have done better. Talk over with mates or your folk. Decent advice. That's how you grow, ain't it? That's the right way to be a magical girl on our own. No. I was wrong. Well then, how about we go get you home? Okay. How'd you do that? I think that's the first time we got a shield fragment. And I think the glow shrooms is new as well. We've got ogre horns before. Oh, so is that is that how it works then? When you're in the dungeons. You see a place to set your trap, so you set your trap. And then when you leave the dungeon, that's when you see if you caught anything. Hmm. No, we honestly, it just didn't... Maybe I wasn't paying attention last night. I could have swore I was, but... It didn't say... It just said, you know, cunning grounds. You'll see the marker to lay a trap, you lay a trap. It didn't say what to do after that, though. I just figured it was like, put a trap down... Wait a little bit. Here comes a hapless enemy. He gets caught in a trap. Hey, you got your haul. And now we know. Yeah, also, like I said, I mean, uh, keep in mind that you got one auto save slot, and there's only three manual save slots. for impressive you did better than I expected please convey the markings of a great soldier in you like with the stamp I'll be so green on out of here okay oh, that's right you understand well here you are I'll be calling on you again private I would get a promotion hey that's a piece of experience though I don't know, all, all the um, fetch quests though, and with her name being CJ, I, I just want to say, oh shit, here we go again. Okay, that's, I knew I was forgetting something. I get the Ebony Pelt in the Great Forks. Alright. Yeah, when I was talking about crafting things, the tavern here, this is where you'll craft the food at. They do different things, uh, but they all do recover HP. Uh, I think... No, I was thinking something else. I'm mistaken on this one. I think that this one where you see um, max HP plus five, I think that's permanent. Now, I was thinking of the, uh, the inn. Let's go to the inn, you can take a bath. Yeah, you can take a bath. It doesn't show you taking a bath, but you can take a bath. That gives you a temporary boost that lasts a day. That's cool. Someone's here to see you. Well, well, well. What 
wonder if it's like his daughter, granddaughter or something. Or Toby both. Here's your stamp. Well, my lord, anything you'd like to say? I'm sorry. I'll take a step back and cool off and talk with my mates and folks about what I did wrong. Well, listen to this. What's got you so modest all of a sudden? You sure you got the right girl? <laughs> Pretty sure. Well, I'm not complaining. You won't stay out of trouble from now on, right? Right. I think your friends here deserve an extra apology. They helped clean up your mess of the bulwark yesterday. You did? No trouble at all. You best be getting back, though. That's right, lots to do. Well, we won't hold you up any longer. Besides, we got to apologize to the acting mayor, too. Isn't that right, my lord? Right. He's got a weird walk. Hmm. Alright, let's get back to there and find that little golem. I think her walking animation just seemed off a little bit. Love clearing those quests. Ooh, I think the logo. This is in the smithy, you can upgrade your weapons. Now you can also upgrade your armor as well. Um, kind of interesting though, because we'll, we'll use this as an example uh, Hunter Suit. Now, if we upgrade again, our physical defense power goes from 55 to 65. And our magic defense power goes from 63 to 77. But, if you go over this way... Over this way... Oh, no, over this way... Right here, armor shop. You can also upgrade your stuff. I did this one because it unlocks the two-point jump. I unlocked his too because it allows him to actually parry attacked. Of course, I don't know if you unlock other things later, or if that's it. You know, the end, this is what I was talking about. Take a bath. The attack power plus five, uh, defense. Experience, luck, but uh, those only last for a day. Yeah, I swear you, you can name your weapons. There's oh, there's so many to choose from though. Uh, you have like uh, three slots. Each one is like a word list you can choose from. And no, I just chose Dream of Infinity and the Extreme. The Hunger Weapon. A lot to choose from. weapons. And we have more things down here now. We got you have bronze ore, giant stone. And bronze ore have ogre horns. A giant branch. I haven't seen any ice magic. I think the meat comes from the wraps. Obviously, the fishing comes from well, you and your little fishing pole. I haven't seen any fishing spots yet, though. I haven't seen ebony pail, which again will probably come from the traps. Silver crystal. We have that. Hmm. Hmm. 
this is your ring. To the mail. I do like the way they put stuff in here too for the uh, like the fishing, the traps, the oh, and the mining. Got the apothecary. I like the apothecary and some of the other ones were like uh, your first time crafting them you can then choose to uh, well the, ne the next time you come back you either choose to craft them again if you have the materials or purchase them outright and that's why if you look here you can either craft them for one herb one slime jelly and 25 I'm still calling them coins or you can purchase them you know bypass the uh Ingredients for 100 coin. What I want to do is I'm get rid of. Oh, let's see. Um, move that, move that. Outlander Lane used town facilities ten times. That's the cheap. This is a tool shop. A lot of coin. Simple enough to find the ore. was an outlander room, was it? That was a second shot. You get so many shops, they have to use two streets. Did you find something? Where is it? Where is it? I sure did. In this treasure chest. This is just money. I can't appraise this. Yeah, there's 100 coins in there. There's what? What? That goes a weird guy. I think he set this up to test you. You've been looking for something you can value at 100 coin, but I don't think I could ever say anything about that. No. I mean, he said it himself, right? Appraisals will vary from person to person. No such thing as an exact one, is there? Good pawnbroker knows how to think outside the box. I think this is what he was getting at. You're right. Genius. I'll take this to him right away. Oh, before I forget, here, take a stamp. The smell of stamps in the morning. Or maybe it's just the ink they use. Now, like I said, that dude's like the only carpenter they have in town, apparently. He's built everything.
Okay, running out of space in your storehouse? Feel free to fill your wallet with I think it's Bakwa. I see Aqua in that. I need to stop dwelling on that. I'll send some stuff to Pawn Shop. Okay, so this is what we have. We can pawn it. Yes, I do. And yes, I do. Well, I get a 700. Hmm. 280. Damn. We need to see if that giant tree is the only one to drop that giant branch. Because it's like that first boss that we actually fought in the Great Forest. Well, we fought it twice already. And we fought it twice and we got two giant branches. A big evil tree. A mere stone, yet rock fanatics are willing to shell a big back well for the one such a strange color and shape. Okay, so let's head to the Great Forest. Shame about the tree thing, ain't it? I heard there's a nice little fishing spot on the other side, too. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for a trap location. Looks like we'll have to fight the uh, tree again. Looks like it could be a fishing spot, right? Or maybe it's just too shallow. Hard to tell. I mean, as you can tell, the enemies they don't uh, they don't scale with your level. So. That'd be nice if they did though. A little bit more challenge to it. As long as I know there's no game setting, music, or operation. Switching character at exactly the right time for landing and attack will trigger a powerful attack. So it's like you attack with her first, then after you hit, immediately switch over to him with his attack. But I think there's also a cooldown on it. Yeah. Just listen for the recovery alert. Battle with full control over characters attacks in this instant. Okay. Let your party make the calls in this one button attack mode for players who want separate. So we're using what? Normal, right? So yeah, so normal is the one where you get full control over. Instead of having the enemies kind of scale with your level, when you come back here, have the enemies be replaced with the stronger ones that you fought. Like the uh, ones in the caves. Like the rock one that spits the boulder at you. Or the uh, little gargoyles. I don't see any trap, trap spot or fishing spot.
see right right there it was always like an ambush point I'm not sure why they changed it Spot, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Um. We can take those things out faster. I hope there's some sort of a uh, uh, ability to enhance the uh, magnet, or items get drawn to you because you run too far off. Well, you can't leave them behind. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey. We have to wait till we finish the dungeon. Nut? Is it a nut? Nut! What's it? Yeah, Hogan's treasure. But the wrong way! Full. Hmm. See, I'm looking for a fishing spot. Here. So there was one after the uh, tree fiend. Could be what we're coming up on. Some slime jelly. Tree fiend. Let's see what's got new this time. So it's a text where don't change much. The first time we fought it, yeah, giant branch. The first time we fought it, it was just uh, the beams and the, uh, the roots that would come out of the ground and that thing out of its mouth. The second time we fought it, the only new thing was the spider that drops down shooting that little web ball at us. Uh, this time, it looks like the 
my new thing was the spider came a little bit, a little bit quicker. Fishing? No fish. It's in past it though, so. Ah. Finally get that. Ooh, thanks for Well, let's give it to the you elf. Know. Um. Okay, so her attack is fifty four, defense sixty two. This is sixty attack, seventy four defense. Yeah, new areas. Look. Okay, a uh, fishing spot. There are areas in the dungeons where fishing is possible. Fish that you catch can be used for cuisine and other items. It goes without saying, but you need a fishing rod for this. Fish received. Achievement first time fishing. How many times you can do it? Fish for catching though. Let's see that. There's no flavor quite like fish. Unfortunately, there's no shortage of it either. Except the fish don't run out. Well, I was kind of expecting. Well, let's catch two more just to. So we can't go any further this way. Let's see, the switch is over there. But we still need... Know if that comes from the hunting or what? Well, you know, crap. There's stuff out there. Okay, um. Oh, 
I'm gonna throw away this. Plus, I mean, we get plenty of those. Which we'll have to do later tonight, guys. Work calls. So we'll pick up around this general area later tonight. Well, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it, and I'll see you tonight.